hi there welcome to the next video and in this video we will start one of the very important topic within click sense which is set analysis set analysis is as i said is one of the very free important and frequently used uh, expression that you use it in the front end that means in the chart so whatever uh, expression you will write related to set analysis will be there in the front chart or in the kpi so let's see first of all um, what is the click definition of set analysis so set analysis offers a way of defining a set or group of data values that is different from normal defined or a normally set defined by the current selection I know for a beginner this is confusing so let's break it apart so first of all the normal set defined by the current selection what that means is your default state of the expression so if you have seen my previous videos we have used the expressions like sum of sales sum of profit and so on and so forth so those are your normal set that means whatever selection you will make in the front end after defining those expression it will accept it it will not uh, you know change based on some of the custom set analysis expression that we will be seeing so now you can easily understand that this is basically normal set defined by current selection your normal state that we have been doing so far but set analysis offers a way of defining a set or modifying modifying the way your calculation is specified now let's see an example so set analysis is powerful when making a sort of comparison though so for example uh, you want to compare the poorly selling products for this year against the last year let's say if this is what the difference you are really looking for you can achieve it with the help of set analysis couple of other examples that we can see uh, for example your chart should not show the particular product so for example you have product for furniture or technology but you want your chart that it should not display the values for furniture well in that case you can use the set analysis and modify your expression similarly your chart should not take some filters selection into consideration so whatever filters that you are uh, using to make the changes into the chart you want rest of the other charts let's say five charts you have on the front end you want four charts to take the filter selection into consideration but not just one particular chart because you want to show the entire picture compared to how you are making a selection and the values that is changing into the chart if that is what the scenario you can achieve it with the set analysis third is your chart should always contain one particular field value along with the current selection so what does that mean is say for example you have a one particular field value which is chairs or you know or some other product that you always want that whenever your chart is getting displayed it should be presented there and whenever you are making selections on the other products it should also keep on including that into that chart so in such scenarios which is very very custom to the business needs you can achieve it with the set analysis now let's see that syntax so set analysis syntax we let's see the very basic syntax and here if you see so far you have been using sum with sales but now we have this complex expression i know it looks it looks really difficult right now because there is a lot of thing there is this curly brackets so that's where your expression start this is basically your set modifier which indicates uh, how you want to treat the selection right now we are saying that whatever selection is going on in the or whatever selection a user will make in the front end keep accepting that but we are saying that only show the chart values for year 
9 right so that's a very simple so here is this field here and this is a value numerical value and as you can see if it is a numerical value uh, you don't have quotes but if you have a character value let's say a product like chair or something else you will have the quote single quote uh, surrounding this particular value so here in this expression you have an identifier which is this you have a modifier which is basically the angular brackets which specify how you want to modify your expression and third thing is operator which is not part of this expression so something like you want year 2009 and you want to add, add something over here like plus for for making a union or uh, you know if you have seen the uh, set theory in in your high school so something like you want to add a plus over here and say some other selection for example category type for nature so those operator example we will see it in the future but that's a way you can further modify your expressions so that's pretty much all about what set analysis syntax contains and this is a very basic syntax uh, as we are starting this but in the future videos we will be seeing the identifiers in very much in detail the modifiers in very much in detail and operators as well and their relevant examples so stay tuned with me and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic